Now, in his first TV interview since his damning report on Olympic doping in December, Richard McLaren says he believes cheating by Olympic athletes is so widespread that at least one in five may be using illegal substances to boost performance. Dana Lewis reports. Just didn't know how to process and handle the information. In his first TV interview since his jarring report on Olympic doping in December, Richard McLaren has said he believes cheating by Olympic athletes is so endemic that at least one in five may be using illegal substances to boost performance. Studies by sociologists and others suggest that somewhere around 25 to 30 percent of athletes are on some kind of prohibited substances. 25 uh, to 30 percent of athletes yeah. cheating. Do you believe that? I've looked at some of those studies and I think that they, they've been done with uh, proper inquiry and integrity. So I think that there is, yes, uh, a, the exact percentage, I don't know that you could ever come up with that, but, but there's a percentage that's significant that's o over 20%. Uh, it shocks me. It's, it is shocking. The McLaren report found Russia's cheating in the Olympic Games in London and Sochi was so extensive that more than a thousand Russians, including medalists, benefited from a state-run program. And while he didn't say it in his report, he believes that the former sports minister, Vitaly Mitko, now a deputy prime minister of Russia, had to know. And that evidence of doping and professional football has been given to the International Olympic Committee. Was he involved? You can't run a ministry uh, of the size of the Ministry of Sport and have a deputy minister engaged in the disappearing methodology without having knowledge. At least at the minimum, you've got to have administrative knowledge. I have some evidence that connects him to some aspects related to football, but I don't have any other evidence beyond that. Evidence linked to football in terms of doping of athletes? Yes. McLaren says he maintains the doping in Russia was state-sponsored, but there is no evidence linking the cheating to President Putin or his inner circle. But evidence of doping in football and other professional sports, says McLaren, has been passed on to various international sports federations. It is one of the reasons there are questions whether Russia should host World Cup football in 2018. Dana Lewis, TRT World, London.